So let's talk about two-dimensional materials and the weird concept of zero dimensions. Nanomaterials are fascinating tiny substances, and their size gives them some really special characteristics. Think of them in categories like zero-dimensional, one-dimensional, two-dimensional, and three-dimensional materials. Zero-dimensional, you ask? This concept is initially challenging to grasp. Imagine confining electrons within an incredibly tiny box, just about the size of a few atoms. In this extremely small quantum scale, electrons start behaving in ways that defy our usual understanding. Instead of moving around freely, like in bulk materials, they are restricted to very specific patterns and behaviors. This phenomenon is known as quantum confinement. It radically alters how electrons interact with each other and with light, leading to unusual and unique properties. In this confined state, Electrons in nanomaterials act differently than in larger, more familiar materials, giving them distinctive optical and electrical characteristics. This phenomenon is leveraged in various applications, including electronics, photonics, and in creating new materials with tailored properties. Here are some examples. In advanced lighting applications, quantum dots are revolutionizing our screens. They're why the colors on your TV and smartphone are so vivid and energy efficient. Sensitive sensors. Thanks to quantum confinement, sensors can now detect single molecules, paving the way for early disease detection and precise environmental monitoring. Material science is creating materials with enhanced properties, like more efficient solar cells, transforming how we harness energy. As you can see, quantum confinement is not just a microscopic wonder, it's a doorway to groundbreaking advances in material science and technology. Now let's come back to our dimensions that we talked about in the beginning. Imagine quantum dots or tiny nanoparticles. Even though they have three physical dimensions like any object, they're so small that their electrons are kind of trapped in place. Scientists say that in these materials, electrons experience what is known as quantum confinement in all three dimensions. And that is why we call them zero-dimensional. This quantum confinement affects the material's optical, electrical, and chemical properties. For instance, quantum dots made of the same material can emit light at different wavelengths depending on their size, which is a direct consequence of quantum confinement. Now picture nanotubes. They're like long, thin cylinders where electrons can move back and forth, but not in other directions. So we call them one-dimensional. Two-dimensional nanomaterials are like a flat and very thin sheet, just one atom thick. In these sheets, electrons can move freely, left and right, forward and backward, but not up and down. It's this flatness that gives them some amazing abilities, like conducting electricity really well, or being super strong for their size. Let's circle back to the intriguing concept of dimensionality itself. From the zero-dimensional quantum dots, where electrons are confined in all directions, to the one-dimensional nanotubes with their linear pathways, and two-dimensional sheets like graphene, each dimension brings its own set of unique and remarkable properties. These nanomaterials challenge our traditional notions of size and space, opening up a world where dimensionality is not just about physical size, but about how the constraints of space at the nanoscale can lead to extraordinary behavior and technological breakthroughs. In essence, the magic of nanomaterials lies not only in their tiny size, but in how their dimensionality shapes their properties and potential. Each nanodimension, from zero to two, redefines material properties, opening doors to revolutionary breakthroughs in technology. As always, thanks for watching. Enjoyed the video? Give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and tap the bell to never miss out.